Hello Internet, this is Michael with thecolorslife.net and I just wanted to bring you all up to date with the Nokia N8 lens adapter project. So what you're looking at right now is actually a new adapter that is for Leica M to Nokia N8. Um, and there's a few reasons why we're using Leica M now and there's a few new improvements to the mount. Um, everything is still, again, sort of uh, beta, just hacking it together thing. I don't have any grandiose plans to shoot anything with this at the moment. So really, it's still just a proof of concept. Uh, nothing is really finalized or too polished. But um, there have been several improvements made in the mount itself. So I'd like to go over those with you and also explain why this adapter uses Leica lenses instead of Canon EF lenses. So firstly, let, let's do that and let's talk about lenses. Um, the reason why I chose Leica M uh, and this isn't some like a snob thing, believe me, because that's a whole other discussion. The honest to God reason why this is using like M is because they're the only uh, lenses I had sitting around the house that use a manual diaphragm. So we can manually uh, stop down the lenses while shooting. Uh, Canon EF lenses are, of course, electronic mount, uh, as implied in the name, electrofocus and electro optical system. Um, and um, so when you're shooting, you can only shoot wide open. And that was kind of a problem because the images, as you can see, they were sharper with the 7200, but I didn't think I posted any video shot with the 50 millimeter 1.8. Um, they're kind of soft. And uh, they weren't really a great way to show the superb resolution of the N8 sensor um, because of that. So they weren't optimizing at optimal focal ratios. Um, so uh, that's the reason why like M lenses were chosen. Uh, the other nice thing is that they have nice, smooth uh, aperture rings, and they're smaller, honestly. Uh, and like I said, they're the only ones I had seen around the house. You could, you could just as easily do this with Nikon, AI, AIS, pre-AI, whatever, or any other sort of manual focus uh, lens that has a, or doesn't have a manual focus, just lens with a manual aperture. You can do any, exactly the same thing. That's why I chose this for that project. Um, the second improvement I will show you, we'll flip this around. So the front of it is again, just flat cardboard. Uh, same idea, bore out a hole, there's a lens cap, bore a hole through it or drill a hole through it and you're good to go. But uh, what this becomes interesting is the back. As you can see in this instance, I've made the adapter thicker than it needs to be. Uh, and I'll post all the dimensions on, on the Call of Life. You guys can check that out. Uh, no need to waste your time in the video. Uh, I've made it, thicker than it needs to be so the N8 will actually sit inside of this and it's secure. As opposed to with the Canon EF lens adapter where there was no, nothing on the back, it was literally just the N8 suspended on two rubber bands. Um, and that would cause focus shift among other things. And also wasn't terribly safe. So I'll show you guys what the N8 looks like in here. You can turn this on, one sec. So I just, Pops right in, very simple. I like to have the barber ran straight, but that's just me, it doesn't really matter. All they do is make sure it doesn't fly out from the back. Otherwise, that's it. And then the Leica M lenses, of course, just snap on and you're ready to shoot. Oh, one more thing, the other thing I forgot to mention uh, was also this, um, wooden bar on the back here. I don't know if you can see in the video, but there's a quarter inch hole drilled through here. So um, you can mount this on a tripod. Uh, that was a problem with the other one because there was no way of just putting it on a tripod. You had to hand hold it. Um, so this makes it a little sturdier, but this is not the best designed tripod adapter. Um, ideally, I could put, uh, where is it? I have a, this is a very old Gitzo tripod head. And you can see that there's a hole over here and a hole over here, three eighths and three eighths. And ideally what you do is go both ends on this. So it would sit both ends. I don't know if you can see that in the video, but um, like I said earlier, this is just basically proof of concept. So it doesn't have to be perfect right now. Um, so yeah, that's the other advantage uh, or improvement over this versus the Canon EF now. That's it. So um, I'll show you guys some sample video. Um, and in the video, we'll go through some click stops, the aperture, so you can see how the lens's sharpness improves. Uh, you should go back and compare to the uh, Canon EF video. You'll see that the image is quite a bit sharper because you can't stop it down. Um, 
Also, this 35 millimeter Sumer has very excellent lens. Uh, and the Sumer Cron I have sitting over here, 50 f2 is nice as well. But um, yeah, 50 year old, like a glass on a Nokia, modified Nokia N8. So check it out. This is at f2. I can't tell if it's exactly in focus or not, but when we stop it down, it shouldn't make too much of a difference. This is exactly f2. That's fully stopped down. See, we get a lot more depth of field this way, more control. So let's take this back to four. Five, six. That's five, six. So nice and crisp. Now we can focus on the background, which I will open up so we can maybe get some more critical focus. Like that. You guys can see this is much sharper, like I was mentioning before. This is right now at f5.6. the same field of view but with the Sumeron lens. We'll leave it stopped down at f5.6. Uh, so. This lens is extremely sharp. You guys can see the rolling shutter. Fun stuff.